Hi and welcome to Mike's Garage. Today I'm actually in my basement and I'm putting together J&M upper and lower control arms. Now the lower control arms have been completed but the process for the upper control arms are just the same. Now I apologize in advance for the lighting. As you can see it's got a pinkish purplish hue. That's because in my basement I have my reef aquarium. So because of the lighting that's there it's um, making my face this color. So let me uh, let me show you what we're going to do today. So I've already completed once I, uh, like I said, the lower control arms, they're, they're done, the bushings are in. Um, I'm going to do the uppers now and I'll, I'll do uh, one in the video. It's the exact same process as with the lowers. Um, it's just uh, one less bushing, you only have uh, one to do. Now to press these together, I'm using right here I hope you can see this and it's a two in four wheel drive ball joint service kit you can find it on Amazon for around uh, forty two dollars and it works quite well for pressing this together I know that some people will uh, use a hammer to try to put it together and I think that's the recommended instructions please don't do that you might actually damage the components uh, putting it together so I like using this instead um, it's worked very well. Uh, one common problem that people come across is as they're putting these bearings together, uh, it's, it's actually four pieces, but when you put it together and you put one side on, the other side's going to try to squish out. The reason being is that there's air trapped in there, so when I go to put this together, this isn't a paper clip, it's a little bit stronger than that, but you know, anything that you can put in there to help release that air is going to uh, to do the trick. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, kind of get started. So I'm going to introduce the parts to you. Um, so you have the energy suspension uh, tacky uh, grease. It's kind of a, a lubricant. They call it uh, Formula 5 pre-lube. Um, it's very tacky. It will stick to basically anything door knobs, you name it. So paper towels are a must. All right, now the bearing assemblies or the bushings that is, there's actually um, a total of four parts. Let me get these all out here. So, there we go. So you've got the shaft in the middle. Goes in one side. You've got this ball that um, that goes on it. So let me show you this. And then on the other end, I'm going to have this. And it's all going to sit inside of this assembly. And essentially what it's going to do is when you go around the corner, it's going to pivot a little bit. This is very flexible. This is very hard. So as you go around a hard corner for road racing, it's going to pivot. So you're not going to have the common bind that you have in a four-link suspension on a Mustang. Um, but the ball is very heavy duty, um, and it'll take a lot of force. So this is good for, um, from what I'm told, about a thousand horsepower, maybe more, um, more than I would ever throw at it. Uh, so let me take this apart. So you need to grease everything up as you're putting it together. Um, obviously, you don't want it to bind when you have it uh, have it under load. So actually, I already got one of these open. So. First thing I'm going to do is put some of this lube here and make sure I've got plenty on it. Um, you don't want to have any noise, squeaks, anything else. And like I said, very tacky. All right, so I'm going to put this down. Let me do the ball next. And I'll try to do this as fast as I can so I can keep, you know, the video length as short as possible. Um, but bear with me on this. All right. We're just going to work it in. And do the same here. Without this, it would probably wear out the components pretty quick. So, I've got another one. Let me open it up. 
little bit difficult because I've got the grease on my hands, but there we go. All right, so I'm going to do one side here. Make sure that you get where the ball's going to sit, and then the inside where the shaft goes through. All right, and work it in. And on the outside. And then do the same for the other one. The middle. The outside. All right. And then once again, you gotta work it in. The center part. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this together there to where it's flush. We're going to stick this in here. We might have to bend the ends in a little bit so it will sit in. Get it flush. You can see that it's starting to come out on the sides, which is perfectly fine. All right. So now we're going to press this in. Now the reason why we're doing the side and putting this in is when we put the ball in we got to make sure that it goes in straight so by doing it this way we are guaranteeing that the ball goes in straight just like so all right i'm going to stick this up on the end here put this together like so at the bottom i'm not putting any extra pressure that i need to or actually that the pressure is uh, distributed um, then I'm going to put this here. I'm going to crank this down. I'm do it first by hand to make sure that it's, you know, centered and on where I need it to be. And take an adjustable wrench, crank it down. Like I said, I'd rather do this than use a hammer some of the some of the instructions I've seen online you know, using a hammer you just might damage stuff you might crack it crack the ball and then you know have issues later on you probably would notice it right away all right back it out and it should be uh, pressed in place now okay it is pressed down, and that's as far as I'm going to be able to get it because of this piece right here. So let me let me do this. Let me flip it over. Let's try this. Is that? Is that? Flip this over like so. Perfect. As you can see, it's pushed in. Now it's not pushed in all the way. You'll get in the rest of the way when I put on the other end. As you can see, it squeezed the side out. So this is actually good. This is what I kind of wanted it to do, and I'll show you why. All right, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put this end on here. Move that pin in. All right. Perfect, exactly what I want. Now, I'm going to take this, as you can see it, and I'm going to, I'm not going to hurt it, but I'm going to just kind of nicely work it in. There we go. Now it's in. So now, when I go to press this together, I'm not going to have the air trapped. So that's going to work real nice. Okay. Now we're going to go like this. And now I can put 
this nice little cap back on here. I just got to bend the metal down just nicely. Stick this up on top. Looks like that was slipping through. I'm just going to do this one more time here. Let's back on. Right there. Flip it over like this. in there nice there we go okay Next thing we're going to do is we're going to, now these are cutters, I'm obviously not cutting with it, I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure so I can pull this out. Okay, that's basically it, so now it's on. So we can see it's sticking out a little bit on both sides, but everything is seated where it needs to be. So that is essentially how you put it together. So thank you for watching and enjoy.